Welcome back to more GX Spirit Caller, everybody. Last time we encountered Jinzo, and we have to defeat him to end this this event here of saving what the hell is his name, Tori or whatever? Shield Crush. Oh my God, that came out of nowhere. All right, that was a good play, first turn for him. He's bringing out Goblin Attack Force. Are you attacking? Yes, you are, and going into defense mode. Okay, this guy can be pretty difficult. Definitely a step up. So we'll see what happens. He's oh my. Gosh, okay, that... Hmm... You know what, I'll let you do that. I'll let you do it. I'll MST this later. I want you to kill your monster. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. And that's actually all he did. Okay, so what I'm gonna do... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and Premature Burial. And I know you, all of you already know what's coming. Obviously, why would you ever Premature Burial a man your bug? There's only one reason why. To summon it alongside a mechanical chaser, of course. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Alright, so I'm gonna attribute that. And bring out Cybertech Alligator. I'm also gonna go to an MST. I am not about to lose my Cybertech Alligator. And I'm also gonna go ahead and set this and swing for 2500 damage. Alright, so you're, uh, you definitely have the advantage with life points. Um, and we are equal with cards. I have four cards, and when you draw, you have four cards, too, on your turn. So it's four versus four. Could be anyone's game still, depending on what you have in the hand. Slate Warrior, okay. That's all you did. Interesting, okay. Well, in that case, I'll take the 500 attack point reduction by destroying Slate Warrior. That's fine. So now Cybertech Alligator is a 2,000 attack monster. And still my mechanical chaser to swing. Okay, so now the the light points I have the advantage with, so that's good. Okay, and and turn. Skull read. What the fuck is that? Skull discovery. It's not discovery. It's discovery. What in the hell is this? Oh my god, wait, this... Okay, can you let me know, why are there so many cars in this game that have ridiculous names? Like, like are these like their OCG names just translated over here? And then obviously, obviously the TCG like changed the names of a lot of cards? Skull Discovery Knight, what the fuck is that? Is that seriously the OCG name? This is obviously Doom Caliber Knight, um, but... What the hell? That's just... That name is just so different. We're literally, the only thing that's the same is the word knight in it. That's why I didn't even recognize it, because I wasn't looking at the artwork, I was looking at the name. And until I did this, I saw the artwork, I was like, wait, that's Doom Cal. What the hell? I was about to say, damn, there's a card that I actually know nothing about. That came out in... You know, before... Uh, like, usually when it comes to older... And I'm sure a lot of you know this, but when it comes to older... Um, older Yu-Gi-Oh! I actually know it pretty well. L like, typically everything from around 2008 to before, I I know almost everything in terms of all the cards. Like, I'm not saying I know every fucking combo, because I don't. But I know a hell of a lot about the game from like 08 to before. I everywhere from like around the Duelist Genesis to before, I know a lot. The 5Ds era, if anything, the World Championship Games actually taught me a lot about the 5Ds era. So I feel a lot more comfortable, but everything after that, starting from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal with XZs... Oh my gosh, I know very little. I, I know some decks here and there, I know parts of the meta here and there. Um, but... Man. That's why I was so surprised that, you know, a card that was literally summoned in this game, which came out in 07, but was released in 06 in Japan. I was like, what the hell? You would have lost your soul, yeah, because that was a shadow game, Tori, be careful. Alright, so that's the end of the night. Time to go to the dorm, yes. And we are going to sleep. And yeah, and, and I guess the other thing I should say is that I don't know too much about the OCG, which is why I don't know about the name. Which is really funny because my name is literally OCG Expert on here, on this game. <laughs> when I'm definitely not, I'm the complete opposite. Alright, so going to class, what are we going to learn? Some dot dot dots again? Cool. Sounds good. After class. 
Oh, we're getting a cutscene. Did you hear that they found all the students in the... I don't know how to pronounce that. Shant... Shant's lab? Shant's lab? Shant's? I don't know. Seance? I don't freaking know. Well, that's cool. So everybody apparently is back to being... Back to being back, yeah. I guess. Alright, let's go ahead and save once again. Okay, so we are going to take on the next quest. So the next quest, you want to go ahead and patrol the area around here, around the... What the f... No. You want to patrol the area around here in the Slifer Red area. Uh, there's nobody there though. Do you have to wait a day? Maybe you have to wait a day. Probably. Probably. Yeah, there, there's nobody else. Um, what I'm gonna do... Let me like, go... And then move back. Now that it's like evening, maybe it'll be something different. Or maybe you have to just literally wait another whole day. Nope, there's something there. That might be the person. There we go, that's Dimitri. That's who you gotta find. You gotta find this guy who's gonna be patrolling around the Slifer Red Dorm. I'm Dimitri of Raw Yellow. I'm a big fan of Dr. Crowler's deck. There's no time to lose, so let's duel. Dr. Crowler's deck? Okay. What do you mean, Dr. Crowler's di- No, okay. Sorry, I was drinking water, you probably heard, but yeah. It's freaking hot. Alright, so... I'm going first. Alright, so I'm gonna start with this set here and just end the turn. That's simple. Alright, Dimitri, what you got? Robotic Knight, okay. Hmm. Seven completed. Alright, well, you're about to go minus one. Hell yeah. I'm losing one monster, you're losing two cards because you used seven completed. Probably when you shouldn't have. Man, if only Raikou was in this game, I think it's obviously a much power cut version of Man Eater Bug, much better. But it's not, I mean, if Raikou was here, basically every other Light Sworn would already would also be here, so I would make a Light Sworn deck. <laughs> I freaking love Light Sworns, man. Oh my god, and almost every single... Like, uh, like so many of the recent games, like, that I've played, I've made a Light Sworn deck. I made a Light Sworn deck in Stardust Accelerator, I think. In Reverse of Arcadia, and Dual Transfer, and in Over the Nexus. Like, it was that many. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and summon... I'll summon DD Warrior. But is it worth attacking with... I don't think so. I'm gonna go with this. Shit. It was worth attacking. God damn it. Well, you know what? I have Fissure too, so you know what? I'll, I'll keep my DD Warrior for next turn. Alright, next turn I'm attacking with DD Warrior first, no matter what you set. UFO Turtle. Graceful Charity. Okay. Ancient Gear Castle. Premature. Wait, okay, luckily I got my traps. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna do Mirror Force. I mean, if I really wanted to use, I could have Magic Cylinder and then on the second attack I can Mirror Force, but... Eh, it's fine. It's all good. Oh, damn it, if I, if I did that, I think I could have actually won the duel already. Damn it, because I got, I drew an Axe of Despair. Because now I'm not going to do enough. Cause that's 29. Yeah, it's not enough. Damn. I could have won if I used Magic Cylinder and then on the second attack, I would have used Mirror Force. Damn, I was only like 200 light points away from winning. Shit. Well, that's ridiculous. Well, fine, whatever. Alright, one turn away. Whatever, man. It's all good. It's all good because I got my Sangan. That's why I wasn't reacting to it negatively because it's fine. Oh, I got Graceful Charity. Eh, I'll just do it. Uh, no. Just get rid of all that. I'm gonna summon Sangan. 
And let's swing for an attack and win. All good. Cool. Alright, Dimitri. 130. Nice. And 13 experience. Oh my god, only 37 experience left. And I can finally get rid of that card from my deck. That thing is garbage. Sorry, Adhesive, adhesive Explosive. I know you're my dual spirit, but... Yeah, okay, so... Um, I think what I have to do now... Wait. What is that? What is this? Copying a deck means understanding the mind of the duelist in an instant. Watch my skills. Wait. Oh, I don't want to do that! No, 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 I don't want to duel him twice. Okay, so he just did that again. The whole why can't I win thing. So yeah, apparently he will just keep appearing here. Yeah, see, he's probably, that's probably him again there. But that's not what you want to do. I believe you only have to defeat him one time. And then you just go to bed, and then you call it a day. Um, I'm still going to save though. Let's go ahead and save. And let's also go to sleep. And I think like at class or after class, we should be able to trigger a cutscene. Which is part two of this whole event with Dimitri here. Time to go to school. Alright, let's do it. That's what we learned this time. I wonder how many dots we're going to learn this time. Is it going to be like 15, 20? That seems like more than 20. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we get here. After class. Uh, nothing happened yet. Okay. Um, well, I'm not really sure what you have to do then. I guess I can go back and save again. Sure. Okay, so I just beat him for a third time. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm doing something wrong here. Let me go to sleep. Maybe this will work. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see here. Let's see if this works, because this time uh, the walkthroughs kept it too vague, so I actually ended up looking at the wiki, and the wiki said that after class the following day, you'll get a scene, but it didn't happen. So it's not happening, so... Um, Alright, so in this case the wiki's wrong this time. Damn. So many things are wrong in these walkthroughs. Um, I don't know. Okay, so it's after Monday, and I'm still not getting the cutscene to trigger. Something is... Something is seriously wrong here. I am missing a key component that was completely skipped over on all walkthroughs online. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I legitimately don't know. What the fuck? Is there another... Okay, so I just defeated Dimitri for the fourth time, but I did this so I can reach the next level, so now I'm level 11. Hopefully reaching level 11 is what you have to do to trigger the second half. I really doubt that. Oh, wait. It was. I think it is. Wait. Shiny, I'm glad you're here. There's some weird guy hanging out around a red dorm. What? Some weird guy. There he is. Oh. Okay, this is actually something else. Oh my god, this is Tyranno Hasselberry. Who are you? Hasselberry is the name. Tyranno Hasselberry of Raw Yellow. Oh crap. This was not <laughs> what I thought was going to happen. Okay. Sure. Okay, so this is actually a side quest to unlock Hasselberry. I just got thrown in here randomly. Oh my god, so... Okay. Oh my god, this this video for editing is going to be ridiculous, like, I'm already at 38 minutes and I know I'm not even anywhere close to completing 30 minutes of content for all of you for this video. But anyway, um, I guess I'll start with this. And this, yeah, so anyway, the, the Hasselberry side quest, and I should actually look this up really quick. Uh, because it's a little... It's a little bit of a process here. Okay, that's Hydrogen. I'm gonna go ahead and do Bottomless Trap Hole. Let's do that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do MST here. To destroy this. Okay, that was Seismic Shockwave. 
Let's go ahead and summon Sangan and flip Didi Warrior. Okay. But yeah, I totally forgot about this. Yeah, this one does actually start at level 11. Damn. Damn, damn. And end turn. Sounds good. That's fine. A random smashing ground. Oh my god, you got your stupid stray lambs. Okay, okay. You got Jurassic World going though. Hmm. Let's draw. Mirror Force. Okay. I am going to set this. Wait, actually, I don't. I don't yeah, I can get the bottomless trap. Hold that. Okay. Let's set that. I can't really do much. I mean, I can flip the one that's. Well, I don't want to do that. I'll just attack one of these tokens. That's fine. That's okay. And end of turn. Okay. Ultimate Tyranno. Well, luckily, I got my Mirror Force. That would have been pretty deadly if I didn't. There we go. Okay, that should pretty much give me the game. Can I please drop a beatdown monster? Please. Damn it. That's not a beatdown monster. Alright, I'm gonna flip this Mask of Darkness here and grab my... I'll take Mirror Force back. I mean, I just used it. So I'll take that back, sure. Okay. I'll also go ahead and set that, and I'll just set both, I guess. Can deal another 1900 damage this turn. Okay. Alright. Now we're down to 3900. Okay. Pretty good. Huh. Guess what? I get to do this again. Freaking, see, this is why Mask of Darkness was actually good back then, and it was limited. Because having, you basically having two Mirror Forces, one is already deadly enough. Oh my god, why am I drawing pure garbage in terms of monsters in this duel? Like, this is crazy. I haven't drawn a single good beatdown monster. Hmm. Alright, keep going, Mask of Darkness. Let's do it. And Sangan. I can't believe I'm actually doing Sangan and Mask of Darkness beatdown right now. Yeah, so I don't know if y'all knew this, but in 2007, uh, Mask of Darkness and Sangam Beatdown was actually a tier 0 deck. Like, what you're seeing right now is basically what it was. You just put a bunch of equipped spells like Axe of Despairs and Mage Powers and shit, and you literally just summon Mask of Darkness and Sangam and you beat the shit out of your opponent with it. Yeah, it was actually a really viable strategy back in the day. So, I just did that. So, House of just got tier 0'd. Man. Sangan and Mask of Darkness beat down. Oh yeah. Alright, so anyway. The whole Tyranno Hasselberry side quest is actually four different duels at different points in the game. So it's gonna be a side quest that is actually spread out. What are you talking about? You're still here too, right? Oh yeah, I forgot. We'll be back later. The hell? What a weirdo. Whoa, it's time to go to dorm. Okay. Um, I suppose it's time to sleep, yeah. Sure. So anyway, the, the first two matches, I believe you can actually do them... Like, pretty much back-to-back-ish? Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. I might be wrong about that, but... First of all, now that I leveled up, I actually want to see... If... I am going to unlock the next part of this other side quest. And it seems like I did. Today in the Duel Academy event hall, on display will be Yugi Moto's deck. That's right, the king of games. I want you kids to go to the exhibition after school. You may learn a thing or two about constructing a winning deck. That is all. Okay. Sure. So yeah, I guess you have to be level 11 for this stuff. Or maybe you do have to literally level up again after- oh my god. That sounds crazy, you know? Someone stole Yugi's deck. What? <laughs> oh my god. Or no one? Alright, so we gotta go find the person who 
took Yugi's deck. Oh man. Let's split up and search. Okay. Alright, so what you want to do is actually go back over here. Also, is the thing here? No, it's not there. Um, the, the thing with Hasselberry will be another one of these exc exclamation marks in there. But as you can see, that didn't happen. So it is going to take a span of a, of a few days probably for the part two of the Hasselberry side quest to happen. But it's fine. Alright, so what you want to do is once again patrol around here. No, no, no. Uh, there's literally nothing, so what I'm going to have to do is move somewhere and then back again. Old Reliable, that's strategy. Okay, so now it's evening. Hopefully in the evening, this is going to work out here. What the freak? There's not a single duelist here. What? Oh, there's one. Okay, that might be it. Hopefully it's not Chumley, I swear to god. If it's fucking Chumley, okay, it's not. What? Did, did we find the guy? Did we find him? Shiny, it's him. There's no mistake, he's the thief who stole Yugi's deck. The deck of the King of Games. It's Dimitri. Oh my god. Alright. So yeah, now he's going to be using Yugi's deck, which honestly might be pretty good. Oh god. It's time to duel. Yep, exactly. I'll go first, like always, when I win. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and, let's see, um... I think I'll start with Man Eater Bug. That's a good safe bet. I also ended up getting Adhesive Explosive, but I'm only gonna be summoning him at the very end if I'm in a good position. Despite me wanting to give him experience. Ooh, Giant Soldier of Stone, okay. I'll take that. I'll gladly destroy you with Man Eater Bug. Let's do that. Destroy. Bam. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just go. I don't think it's worth heavy storming yet. I'll just summon Gemini Elf and swing. I'm pretty sure this might be the first situation where we see Mirror Force. Because he is using Yugi's deck, which means he must have that card. Let's just see though. If, if he sets one more back where I'm using Heavy Storm, no doubt about that. I just don't want to do it if he only plays one card. There we go. That's, that's Heavy Storm worthy right there. Oh, hell yeah. He might negate it though. I don't know if he has a spell negation card like Magic Jammer or Solemn Judgment. We'll see. Let's do a Heavy Storm. It worked. Magical Hats? Magical Dimension? Swords of... Oh my gosh. Alright, let's bring out Seven Colored Fish. We gotta keep that beatdown going. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna be using Sanga and Mask of Darkness beatdown this time, because I, I haven't drawn Mask of Darkness, but... Gemini Elf and Seven Colored Fish is a good second best, like a good second best compared to, you know. That's actually why I put Gemini Elf and Seven Colored Fish in my deck, because in case I don't draw Sanga and Mask of Darkness, I need a backup for my beatdown strategy. So I have Gemini Elf and Seven Colored Fish for that. Motherfucker, god damn it. You and your own Gemini Elves. You know what's funny? In a lot of video games, Yugi's deck commonly has Gemini Elf whenever you duel him. But like, I don't remember him ever using Gemini Elf in the anime, right? Or unless I'm going crazy, I probably am. Alright, I'm gonna summon Sangam. This will do 2900. Which means next turn, if all goes well, I can just summon Adhesive Explosive to get it some experience. Well, that'd be cool. Alright, you're down to 1400. When with three cards to work with. God damn it. Freaking. Alright, well. I'll take, um. Oh, here we go. Mask of Darkness beat down. <laughs> oh man. Shit. Okay, I can't summon. I should have I should have gotten a man eater bug in. Oh, actually. Let's do swords. Magician of oh crap. Okay, so you're getting your own sword. Oh, okay, this is that. This still might actually be a lot longer than I thought. Okay. Um. 
thing is Mask of Darkness being set is going to be pretty useless. So I'm just going to summon Adhesive Explosive and then tribute it next turn. Oh wait, why didn't I- oh my god, I'm so freaking dumb. <laughs> I'm, I am so sorry, people. I am not thinking. For, for whatever reason- oh my god, I, I really- sorry, I was getting so distracted. It's not a big deal, because I mean, what, I would have destroyed a Magician of Faith, it's it's fine, but... Um, and I would have still been destroyed by the Break of the Magical Warrior. But I, I don't- oh gosh. Yeah, it's not a big deal, because again, I would have just destroyed Magician of Faith. Breaker would have demolished me this turn. Okay, there's Dimensional Warrior. Um, yeah, I'll just summon that. Unfortunately... I mean, the worst thing is that he ended up getting the Breaker to destroy his sword. It wasn't even about my misplay that much. Um, and the other thing is, that if I actually drew a beatdown monster, I could have beat him this turn. Um, but I'm going to actually crash into this game, believe it or not. I'll take 400. So we know the other card in his hand. It's a Swords of Revealing Light. So... Ultimately, it's going to depend on what he draws and what I draw. It's, it's all about the top decking for who's going to win this duel. Whoever gets better top decks is going to win. Okay, he keeps being an idiot. Now, if he doesn't activate swords, he didn't use it. If I get a beatdown monster, I win. Shit. God damn it. Um, seriously? The one fucking time I could have just... I have like 12 beatdown monsters. Are you serious, game? God damn it, dude. Actually, he may have a Karibo, too. I don't, I don't know. Maneater bug. Okay, I'll just destroy your Magician of Faith, I guess, sure. Alright, well now, okay, well let's see what, if I can get a Mystical Space Technique or something. I did not. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm getting rid of Mask of Darkness. I have not gotten a single trap card in this duel, and I don't have a single one in the graveyard. Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Tribute then. And again, my misplay was not going to make me win already, so it's not a big deal. It's fine. Really, th the reason why he's still in this duel a lot is because he top decked the Break of the Magical Warrior. That's That was ultimately game-changing for him, because he destroyed the swords. And, damn. And I mean, also, it was really that in the combination with the Magician of Faith as well, because that let him get the swords back. Alright, so that's going to be the end of swords right there, right? Oh, and, oh my god, still another turn? Dude, what the hell? Oh my god, this duel is now 18 turns. Okay. Um, This is where it's going to get really scary, because... If he... F I know he has a Mirror Force, he has to. Okay, so I'm going to have to put one of these in defense mode at least. Oh gosh. I mean, I already get rid of his Magical Hat. Okay, what I'm going to do is summon 7 Colored Fish. And I'm going to put... I'm putting this thing in defense mode. I'm entering battle phase, oh my god. Alright, here's Mirror Force. Yep, there it is. That's the first Mirror Force of the game that we've seen, and I knew it was coming. I predicted that. Easily. To be fair, I should have put two monsters in <laughs> in uh, defense mode, but one thing I can do, doesn't Mage Power increase? Mage Power increases attack and defense a lot. Just to be safe, I'm gonna I'm gonna buff you up. Cause if you if you summon a beatdown monster, you're gonna destroy my cyber tech alligator. So I want to make sure I buff up your defense a little bit. So you don't attack me next turn. Also, if... Oh my god. I better end it right now because this guy has four cards in his hand. He's about to make a comeback. He is generating cards like crazy in his hand. I'm putting them both in attack mode. Mirror Force is limited. So he does have another one. And if he has a Karibo, I can do this. Karibo? Let's see. And... No, okay. I put him both in attack mode because I was assuming a Karibo was going to be discarded. Alright, well... That's it. 146 this time. And how much do I get with Adhesive Explosive? 14? 23 experience left. Damn. Alright. I lost. How could that be? That was a sweet duel. Apparently so. What's that? Talk about believing your deck, but you actually don't. <laughs> yeah. This whole thing basically also happened in the anime. I mean, basically everything in this game happened in the anime. It's just... This game is out of order. 
when it comes to all that. It just created its own freaking order. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, so that's the end of this Dimitri scene event thing. By this point, Dimitri has not been unlocked as a duelist. You can just duel him normally. Um, the other thing I want to quickly test out, because I'm almost out of time for this episode, probably. I'm, I'm assuming so. I want to see if the game's going to take me into the next segment. I'm going to assume no. Not yet. But let's see. So if a scene happens after class, that means that I am eligible for the next event in the game, which is going to be for the next episode. And if it doesn't appear, that means I have to be level 12 first. Okay, I have to be level 12 first, got it. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and save. And in between episodes, I'm going to grind up to level 12, obviously, and we'll go from there. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to like it. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day.